The Northern Divisional Police Headquarters project was initiated in 2016. Regrettably, such a critical opportunity to improve citizen security and modernize and upgrade the occupational conditions of the members of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force stagnated for an inordinate period of time until Prime Minister Pierre intervened in 2022. From 2017, you speak about a situation where your men and women and the police force are working in conditions that will not fit for people to work in. I remember coming here in 2021 and visiting the girls in the police station and apologizing to the officers for the conditions under which they worked. And from 2017, a government has had that opportunity to improve the conditions of work for these men and women. They refuse to do it. But instead, what they get involved in is things that are on the periphery, things that have no relevance to crime in this country, things that have no relevance Revelance to the improvement of, of the working conditions for the men and women of the police force. And I want to thank the men and women of the cabinet because we decided that come whatever happens, we are going to construct the police station for the people of Grozili and to house the men and women of the Royal Telemetry Police Force. The Prime Minister's decision to pursue the construction of the Northern Divisional Police Headquarters project underscores the government's commitment to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and the protective services. And so, despite the fact that we have a Minister of Tourism who has ensured that Grosley be given the resources and, of course, the physical development to bring in the tourists and enjoy the constituency, Despite the fact that we know how important these initiatives are, despite the fact that we have a Minister of Education who understands the need for Grosley to have its own library, despite the fact that we have a Minister of Health who understands the need for the Grosley Polyclinic to be up and running effectively, this project can be considered one of the most important for the constituents of Grosley. Building the Northern Divisional Police Headquarters satisfies a critical law enforcement need and further strengthens the national security mechanisms. To say that this will be a state-of-the-art police station, it will be a police station that will provide the police officers the facilities that they need to carry out their duties. And I need to commend the Prime Minister and Cabinet colleagues for their full support for improving the conditions for national security and safety in the country. Upon completion of construction, the new Northern Divisional Police Headquarters situated in Massad Grosile will house several law enforcement units, namely Criminal Investigations Department, Special Services Unit, Crime Scene Investigations and Traffic Department. Today, as we come together for this South Turning Ceremony, we are expressing our profound gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister and the government for hearing the heartfelt plea of the men and women who serve in this community. The significance of this event cannot be overstated as it, signify, as it signifies a tangible commitment to improving the working conditions of our dedicated law enforcement personnel. The approved budget for the project is 35 million nine hundred and twenty-five thousand eight hundred and twenty-two dollars. The Northern Divisional Police Headquarters will occupy thirty thousand square feet of floor space on two point six acres of land. The expected duration of the construction phase is eighteen months. This facility is expected to be a flagship for the police facilities on island. And police, you'll be very proud of this facility. It will house CID, it will house traffic, 
Um, among other things, it will house the um, there'll be an armory, and police will also there'll be a holding area. Police will also be happy to know that there'll be a tennis court and a gymnasium um, included. And um, like I said, it, it there should be a flagship facility for the police force. The project will be executed under a build own lease transfer or BOLT agreement between the National Insurance Property Development and Management Company Limited, NIPRO, and the Government of St. Lucia. Office of the Prime Minister